So the next thing that we are going to look at is speed. <coughs> so the formula that you use when calculating speed, you say speed is equal to distance over time. And there are two ways in which you can calculate speed. Your units can either be nautical miles per hour or in kilometers per hour. So the units in nautical miles per hour are also referred to as the knots. So sometimes you can be told, can you calculate the speed between uh, two places? So that between two places in knots. So that means you need to calculate the speed in nautical miles per hour. And there's uh, an example that I've already written. And uh, this example of two points, of point Y and Z. So point Y is on latitude 30 degrees north and on longitude 15 degrees east. Point Z is on latitude 40 degrees south and on longitude 15 degrees east. And the question proceeds, if the time taken for the ship to move from point Y and Z is 2 hours, calculate the speed in knots, then normal numeral 2, the speed in kilometer per hour. Then the radius have been given 34, 37 nautical miles. Pi have been given 3.142. Again, the radius have been given as 34, uh, 6370, sorry, 6370 kilometers. So to start with, I'll first calculate the speed in knots. So this is Loma numeral 2. So I've said the speed in knots is the same as nautical miles per hour. So speed in knots is the same as nautical miles per hour. And since time I've been given a system I've been given uh, which is two hours. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate distance between point Y and Z. So I'll say uh, length of arc. Length of arc YZ is equal to theta over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi R. So theta represents the difference in latitude between point Y and Z. So Y is on latitude Y is on latitude 30 degrees north. What about Z? Z is on latitude 40 degrees south. And since these are having different signs, I'm going to add, so I'm going to have 70 degrees. So this means theta is 70 degrees. So I have 70 degrees divided by 360 degrees multiplied by 2 multiplied by the pi is 3.142 3.142 multiplied by the radius since I'm calculating speed in knots and knots are also referred to as nautical miles per hour so I will use 34, 37 34, 37 nautical miles then I'll punch these are digits on the calculator so I have 70 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3.142, multiplied by 34, 37, divided by 300 and skist. So I'm having 4199.632111 net commas. And if I round off to two decimal places, this is going to be 4199.63 nautical miles. And since I know my distance, I can calculate speed in knots. So I'll say speed is equal to distance over time. So the distance between point Y and Z is this. So I have 4199.63 nautical miles over the time taken for the ship to move from point Y to Z is 2 hours. So 2 hours. And this will give me so 
0.63 divided by 2. I'm having 299.815 nodes. And if I round off to two decimal places, this is going to be 20.99.82 20, nodes. So this is the speed in knots. Let us calculate the speed in kilometer per hour. So Roman you will do speed in kilometer per hour. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the distance between point Y and Z. So length of arc YZ is equal to theta over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi R. So the theta, the difference in longitude, uh, in latitude between Y and Z is uh, 70, so I'll say 70 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied by 2. My pi is 3.142 multiplied by the radius. Since I'm calculating distance in kilometers, I'll use 6370 70 kilometers. Then I'll punch these digits on the calculator. So I have 70 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 63.70 divided by 360 I'm having 7, 7, 8, 3.432222 kilometers and if I run off to two decimal places this will be 7, 7 8, 3.43 kilometers and to find uh, speed I'll say speed is equal to distance over time so the distance here I'm having 7, 7, 8, 3.43 kilometers over uh, the time taken is 2 hours, so 2 hours, so I have 7783.43 divided by 2. This is giving me 3891.715 km per hour. Then to run off to two decimal places, this will be 3891.72 km per hour. So we have actually finished the topic S geometry. So next week we're going to start another topic. Thank you very much.